And to talk more about the concerns about teens on Instagram and the use of its filters is clinical psychologist Dr. Corey Gonzalez. Dr. Gonzalez, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Good morning, Alex. And troubling, troubling information here, and this is something that is is not new. We've known about this for a while. This report, though, kind of highlights the fact that Facebook, the company that owns Instagram, knew about these concerns, knew about these dangers. Yes, Alex, good morning. And we've learned that Instagram and their, and their filters are damaging the mental health and the body image of our young teens. And they have known about it. They've had internal studies for this stuff and the uppers involved have known about it. And it's just trying to, you know, having our, our, our teenagers try to hold this standard that's unattainable as far as beauty and physical features has been really a, a it's caused a lot of problems with this Gen Z. The Wall Street Journal first reported this uh, early or late last week. 32% of teen girls who felt bad about their bodies, you know, used Instagram and they felt worse about it. So they're using these filters to theoretically make them look better, but they're feeling worse about themselves. Can you just talk a little bit about? It, it almost contradicts itself, right? You, you, right? You'd think taking a picture of yourself and putting a filter on it would make you feel better about yourself. Well, it does when you're behind a screen, but when you have to go out and function socially and be around people and date, it causes insecurities. Because again, these filters are causing unattainable beauty standards that these young ladies can't hold, hold up to. You know, John, Dr. Jonathan Haidt, a psychologist, wrote a book called The Righteous Mind, and he knows that this, the Gen Z, the the people that are born after 1996 were the first people to go through middle school with social media. And they found that they had a profound effect. There was a spike in suicide attempts, hospitalizations. This is a generation that really is fragile, had social anxiety, body dysmorphic stuff. And he outlines it. So we knew about this back in 2012. Jonathan Haidt talked about it. So this is something that, again, you know, those, you know, those kids that are out there, uh, born after 1996, are dealing with. Uh, I want you to talk about what parents need to know yeah. because this is something that we all use social media i mean it doesn't matter who you are we all have a social media account but right. and we all use instagram as well but for those kids who have grown up with it in those impressionable years what do parents need to know about uh whether you know because everyone takes selfies too yes when does it become dangerous and when do you need to talk to your children well dr Haight outlines his book a, a, a few things and one of them is that you you need to set a time, you know, negotiate a time budget with these kids about how often you use social media. Also, he recommends that you don't start social media until you're in high school. Hmm. And the other thing is... Why is that? Well, because they're not mature enough. They're right. not okay. ready uh, emotionally to deal with this stuff. And also that parents talk to their children about, you know, accepting themselves, accepting their, you know, their role and perfect. We all have strengths and weaknesses, accepting yourself and not try to adhere to a standard, again, that's unattainable because you'll lose and you'll fail. So it's very important that they accept themselves, put some budgets around this, make sure it's out of the room about a half hour before bedtime. I also want to talk about filters too. There's a lot of fun filters out there, you know, make your face look like a dog right. or whatever. But then there's also those beauty filters as well. As a parent, do those parents need to be watching out to see what filters their teens are using? Yeah, I think it'd be a good idea to monitor their social media, see what they're putting out there and seeing how they look and so forth. Some of those are obvious, right? right. If you have flowers around your head or you have, you know, whatever it may be, um, but others are more subtle. And those things, again, some of these children are feeling so insecure, they can't go out and take normal risk. So right. we have a whole generation that won't date, won't uh, try to get their license or risk aversive. So this is the detriment that's causing this young generation. So again, this is something that uh, you know parents need to be aware about. And uh, there's a lot of benefits of social media, but there's also the conversation that parents need to have with their children about how to use it properly and make sure that they're uh, feeling good about themselves and not having that false sense of insecurity. All right, Dr. Gonzalez, as always, thanks so much for coming in this morning. I do appreciate it. Always a pleasure, Alex. All right, we're back with more news next.